Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video looks at big data and data mining um, and it's part of this section here on digital technology. So uh, big data is the vast quantities of information that's been generated, stored and analysed by businesses. The amount of data that's in the world in, at the moment, over the last 30 years, that has just increased exponentially because of the methods that we've got uh, in this day and age, i.e. by using computers, to collect, store, manage, analyse data. Just huge amounts of data being collected in the world, which is why it's called big data. There's three V's associated with it, volume, velocity and variety. In other words, we're collecting a huge amount of data very, very quickly, um, and there's lots of different types of it. And uh, you can see here from this chart from Statista that organisations are starting to turn this big data into um, competitive advantage, basically, into revenue, all right? Big data market size revenue forecast worldwide. So somehow organisations are turning data into revenue, selling it in some way, and we'll have a look at how organisations might do that uh, shortly. But the key thing to know, we're collecting vast amounts of information more than ever before, and we can turn that into competitive advantage. <coughs> so what sort of data are we collecting? Well, we're collecting customer data on loyalty cards, for example. So every time that someone with a loyalty card goes to a supermarket, and uh, gets it swiped, well, it records exactly what they've bought. That's stored on a database uh, by a supermarket with thousands of other consumers, thousands of other data points showing what those consumers have bought. So that data can start to be analysed by the supermarket. We can look at sales information, i.e., you know, what, are the what products are generating as our different revenue. That's very useful for a business like a supermarket that sells literally thousands of different products. We can look at which products generate the most revenue, um, etc. <clears throat> In terms of operational data, we can analyse the number of faulty products that were produced on a particular day. In terms of marketing, well, we're going to look at the effectiveness of, of advertising. You know, if we put an advert on this website, how successful is that? How many click-throughs to our own website do we get from that? And we can start to analyse whether that advert was effective or not, if we need to maybe change the uh, websites that we're advertising on. Very, very useful to understand. Um, and in terms of HR, we could, you know, we, we might be recording data about the performance history of employees. You know, what's the labour productivity of each employee? How many 40 products are they producing? Therefore, what training needs do they have? So, big data, we're collecting huge amounts of information. However, a piece of data is just a number, effectively. Right? Or a, a piece of information. On its own, it doesn't mean very much. In order to make sense of that data, and the key thing is to uh, look for patterns in order to generate organisational learning, we need to undertake a process that's called data mining. And we can define it as the process of using software to analyse vast quantities of data, to look for patterns and generate organisational learning. Like I say, a piece of data on its own is, is not terribly useful. What we need to do is use some sort of software to analyse that data so we can uh, observe patterns and start to draw conclusions that might be useful uh, for our business. So we can look to analyse prior performance and use that hopefully to predict future performance. Um, we can identify cause and effect. We could look at correlation versus causation. So for example, um, if we're selling, uh, putting one thing on offer, and it affects the sales of, of another, is that, are those two things just happening at the same time? Or is there actually cause and effect going on? So correlation, they happen at the same time, but there's no <clears throat> relationship between them, it's just fluke. Or is there actually cause going on? And the more data we've got, the more likely we are to um, work out if something is correlation or causation. And we can start to undertake planning um, for example, 
decision trees, which we looked at in unit two, and critical path analysis, which comes up later on. Both of those, uh, <coughs> both of those require some sort of information to be put in, and data mining can help us find the information that will be useful to put into these uh, models to enable us to make better decisions in the future. So the sort of questions that we might ask when we're data mining, what happens to the sales of white buns when hamburgers are on special offer? This would be a very useful question for a, um, for a supermarket to ask. You know, if we put hamburgers on offer, yes, we want to sell more hamburgers, but are <coughs> white buns a complementary good? I.e., do we sell more white buns when hamburgers are on offer? Because that's going to be um, help us to make the decision about whether to put hamburgers on offer in the future. What effect does cold weather have on the sales of tomatoes or any other product? You know, if, if there's a change in the weather forecast for a clothes retailer, they may have to order more coats or gloves or something based on uh, their previous experience. Um, how many applications were received after advertising in a particular newspaper or on a particular website? Or how many um, of the applicants did we actually give a job? And that will help us uh, understand what effective HR spending, recruitment spending. Um, we might ask the question, how many click-throughs did our pop-up advert generate when it was blue compared to green? So we can look at the effectiveness of, of, of various things like different colours or even different words in an advert. You know, we use this different word and, and, and we got 50% more interest in our product. How many 40 products were produced after we increased the speed of the production line? All of these questions might be asked and we can use data mining to find the answers to them and that will enable us to make better decisions in the future. Okay, so just here's an example. Uh, this is my Amazon page. Uh, when I open up, these were kind of things that just flashed up. Now, um, just to pick out a few things, you know, Amazon know that I'm a teacher, read more from teaching. I've ordered various books from Amazon on teaching in the past. Okay, and they can see that. Um, this is a business and economics book. Uh, I ordered some, I bought some kettlebells from Amazon absolutely ages ago. They still know that I've got them. They're trying to sell me a kettlebell workbook. Um, so this is example of a business that collects a huge amount of data and then it's using that data to um, try to uh, create a competitive advantage for themselves. Um, other businesses that use big data and data mining to try and create competitive advantage, companies like Facebook. So users put in for, to Facebook, for example, that, I don't know, they're a Justin Bieber fan. And if I'm a business selling posters or tickets to Justin Bieber concerts, Facebook might tell me, okay, we've got 30,000 uh, teenagers in the southwest of England who are Justin Bieber fans, and I'll say, brilliant, I will pay you X amount per advert to flash up a pop-up when they go into Facebook that I've got Justin Bieber concert tickets on sale, and hopefully that will make my advertising more effective um, and will generate me a competitive advantage. And Facebook, of course, selling the information that they store on various people um, creates a competitive advantage for them. <coughs> 